So you have work experience in multiple NOCs. You have multiple NOCs, you have multiple jobs, you have worked for more than one employer or different kinds of occupations. You are now confused. Can you claim points for these work experiences? This is the question that we're going to answer today. Hey, I'm Kuber. Uh, welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Click on the subscribe button. Click on the bell icon so you can keep getting notifications of our new videos uploaded all the time when we do it. Uh, you ask questions, I answer. Therefore, it's Ask Kuber. We're all over the place. We are on Instagram. We are on Twitter. We are on Facebook. We are on, uh, we are on YouTube, you know. Uh, follow us where you can. Uh, and you will realize that we do give you a lot of information which you can use for your PR application. Today's burning question, today's burning answer, tune in. Hi, so multiple NOCs, multiple periods of work experience, can I claim points for them? Uh, CIC website is confusing you, people are confusing you, different members on different Facebook groups that you are a member of confuses you. So the short answer, yes, you can claim points for multiple NOCs, you can claim points for multiple periods of work experience, even if they are different NOCs, not a problem, I will explain it to you how. The most important factor is that you must have 12 months of continuous work experience if you are applying under federal skilled worker. You must have 12 months of work experience, may not be continuous, if you are applying under CEC, which is Canadian Experience Class. It's extremely important. 12 months is important. It has to be same NOC code. So basically, as long as you have work experience under one NOC code, very important, one NOC code, and this obviously, this NOC code has to be valid. So it has to be skill type zero, A or B. So as long as you have work experience under this one NOC code for at least a period of 12 months, then any other work experience under a valid NOC code, any other NOC code, as long as it's valid, can be combined, can be combined for a cumulative total period of work experience points. So before we go any further, first let's understand the logic behind uh, this 12 months continuous work experience and one NOC or same NOC code uh, requirement. So in front of you, you have the screen which is on the CIC website. It's their uh, eligibility uh, points grid. Uh, this is under the six selection factors. This points grid basically is on your 100 points out of which you must score 67 points or more in order to be eligible. So as you can see that uh, you can score points for one year, which is nine points, two to three years, which is 11 points, four to five years, which is 13 points, six or more years, which is 15 points. So this grid or these points for work experience maxes out at six years. Uh, so basically, even if you have uh, work experience for 10 years, it won't really matter. It maxes out at six years. These are the eligibility points. These are the FSW points. These are the MEC points, which is a minimum eligibility criteria points. So when I say that you need to have at least one year work experience, means you need to get these nine points minimum uh, in your eligibility grid for 67 points. But where does the requirement uh, of, of this 12 months come from? This again is the CIC web page and, and the links for all these uh, screens that I'm showing you are, are in the description below. So you're, you're free to, you're most welcome to use them and, and check by yourself. So this is again CIC website which defines what is the eligibility to apply as a federal skilled worker under Express Entry. If you scroll down a bit and in the selection factors, <clears throat> it says uh, if you meet all the minimum requirements, so minimum is the keyword that you must meet the minimum requirements. And in the minimum requirements, the, the biggest factor is that you must score 67 points on the 100 point grid of which I just showed you uh, how the work experience is defined. And when it goes further and talks about the skill work experience, it specifically says here, this is what I want to bring your attention to. And it says your skilled work experience must be in the same type of job, have the same NOC as the job you want to use for your immigration application called your primary 
occupation so when you're creating your express entry profile uh, and, and you start creating uh, or rather you start entering uh, the details for your work experience you will come to this field where it asks you for your primary occupation and a lot of times people get confused as to what should i mention as my primary occupation you always choose your noc code in which you have the most amount of um, or the longest period of work experience and the reason you can now see why because this noc that you have chosen as your primary occupation or primary noc will define how many points you get under the eligibility criteria how many points you get under the fsw points uh, the, the grid that i just showed you earlier the grid that is here yes for one year nine points two to three years 11 points four to five years 13 six or more 15 points so this is basically uh, why you need to identify your primary noc code this work experience has to be in 10 years of course it has to be paid as we all know so what the, the the point i was trying to make is that it has to be in the same noc and this noc is your primary knock that you will identify and this is what will define uh, your eligibility uh, points so yes you can have multiple nocs but that will define your crs points but first you have to be eligible you know first you need to enter the door first you need to get into the pool so in order to get into the pool you need to be eligible in order to be eligible uh, you must have at least 12 months of work experience at least that is the minimum requirement for express entry and this 12 months of work experience or more if you have it should be in the same noc and uh, so for example you have uh, work experience of three years in the same noc excellent you will get eligibility points here for three years which is 11 points okay so i, I hope you get this if, but this is all applicable for federal skilled worker. If you were a Canadian experience class applicant, uh, so in that case, you know, there isn't much that they specify. It just says that you should have at least one year of skilled work experience in Canada in the last three years before you apply. Because there is nothing specific mentioned, it automatically leads to the understanding that it could be multiple NOCs, uh, there could be gaps, uh, continuous work experience is, is, is not uh, mandatory here. And it could be uh, multiple NOCs, multiple uh, employers, as long as the NOC is valid. Valid NOC stands for NOC O, A, or B. I hope this is clear. Do you get that? No? Okay, let me explain that again. So let's say you have work experience as an accountant, NOC code 1111 for a period of one year, exactly 12 months. That doesn't give you enough points but you were also working as an administrative assistant before you became an accountant but that was a period of six months uh, you were also working as a, a administration manager for a period of 10 months and then you were working as a, let's say advertising manager or or uh, i don't know some other some other noc code for a period of 10 months now, can you claim all of this for a period of three years of work experience? Come on, give me an answer. Yeah. Yes, you can. And that is mainly because you have a one year of continuous work experience. That period of one year of continuous work experience that you've had under NOC 1111 allows you or, or qualifies you to enter the express entry pool whereby you can now enter the pool and then get the benefit of cumulative work experience. Okay, because 10 months, 10 months, 20 months, 26 months, okay, 26 months is your different periods of work experience, which on their own will not let you be eligible for express entry. But then you also have one work period, which is continuous for 12 months under NOC code 1111. Now this allows you to be eligible. And because it allows you to be eligible, you can now combine the other periods of work experience to claim cumulative points for three years for your total work experience right pretty good yeah Canada is not out there or Canadian government is not out there to make life difficult for you they're actually doing everything possible to make it easier for you you just need to know and understand what works for you therefore I tell you please stay tuned with us stay on our groups stay on our channels and we'll keep giving you answers to all these difficult questions and much more until such time see you again